What's up guys? I'm at a second night market. This is called Lingjiang Night Market. This video is gonna be totally about whatever I see that looks good, I'm gonna try it. If it looks good, it's gonna make it into this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about it. Grilled sugar canes. I had sugar canes before, just like sucking on it. This is good, I've never seen that before. Grilled sugar cane juice. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. There you go, get a big piece of garlic in there. Oh, it's good. This guy was selling me on these chicken heads. Oh, it turns out to be really good, right? It's good. Garlic, garlic. You gotta get the garlic in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go kissing people after eating this. And this guy is Wu Lai Ajong. Is that your name? Wu Lai Ajong? He grabs his own pigs on wild boars. He, he like hunts them. Oh. This, guy's, this guy's awesome. <laughs> and this is his signature uh, boar, yeah. boar, uh, boar skewer. Oh my god, all right. Wild boar. Yeah, wild boar. Let's try it. Oh, that's nice. I like the sauce. Spicy. This is really crazy. Um, you can eat the snake here. And it's not like the snake is sitting in some container all cut up. They're live in cages. That's, that's creepy to me. These are sweet potato balls. They're basically sweet potato puffs. They're kind of like overgrown corn puffs and they deep fry it. You can see here, this guy is really using a lot of effort to fry these things. And they come out nice and fluffy and airy. And then you can get them sprinkled with their different kinds of flavor. I got mine with uh, mesa, which is a berry flavor. Mmm. Oh man, the more you chew, the more flavor it releases. They get sweeter as you chew. Like I said, it looks like an overgrown corn pop. Definitely put that on your Taiwan night market list. I've seen a lot of places like this at different night markets and they sell like these crazy little cuts of uh, steak and they flavor it with like, uh, like cumin or different kinds of salt. And typically that's not something you would really think about when you think about Taiwanese uh, night market is steak. Oh my god, it's pretty good. And I'm not saying they're using the top quality meats or anything, but I'll tell you what, this is pretty flavorful, but it's darn good. There's a good balance of fat and lean meat here, and they seasoned this really, really well. These would look like little alien pods of things. Um, <laughs> these are what's called liang yuan, um, and the full name is sha liang sha yuan. And these are little pods of green bean, red bean, and taro. And they're covered inside uh, what the guy told me was sweet potato flour. And this is really cool. I mean, take a look at it. it kind of looks like a little alien pod. And if you're not careful, they spawn little aliens and jump at your face. And don't put this whole thing in your mouth if you do get this because there's a little layer of paper on the bottom. Oh my god. They're cool. They're cool. Um, they're cool. It's really cold. It's surprisingly cold. And it kind of tastes like a little layer of mochi, like really cold mochi with uh, mashed taro on the inside. The outside is lightly sweet, which kind of really balances out the inside really well. It really does taste like a cold, slimy mochi. Let's try a red bean one, and this time, I'm prepared for the cold. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, yeah. That's still cold. Oh, that's really slimy. It's much thinner than a mochi. It's kind of like a mix between a mochi and a jelly. You know what kind of tastes like? You know Slimer from Ghostbusters? This is going to the best things I found in a night market video, but of course, this is not food. This is just pure adorableness. Oh my god, adorableness overload. Besides the cute little mice, or hamster, or whatever they are, bunnies, it's a cute little hedgehog. Yeah. Hey hedgehog. Hey guy. Cute little hedgehog. My quest for awesome night market food in Taiwan has brought me over to the Ningxia night market. I'm here with a couple of my friends, Feng Wei and Feng Yi, and they're gonna show me what's really good at this night market.
And with every single night, Marky, as you're walking, you get this whiff of what can only be described as a bathroom, and of course, that's your uh, stinky tofu. So there's a lot of stinky tofu stands here, and the smell is pungent. Right now, we're gonna go try a night market staple, the Owajian or oyster pancakes. And that's supposed to be really good. So in this place that they took me to is supposed to be one of the best in this night market. We're gonna go try it out. This is our finished oyster pancake. Look at that nice sauce on top. What is the sauce? Mm. Tastes a little, a little peppery. Uh, what kind of sauce is that? Oh, sweet and sour. Yeah. Some sweet and sour sauce. A um, little bit of a kick, not too much. Mm. Not good. It's better than the one I had at the uh, Chile Night Market. It was really good. There's a lot of cornstarch in here to kind of make it really gooey. Um, so it's a little, little bit slimy. It's not like a typical sky pancake where it's kind of crispy. It's a little slimy, but this is pretty good. You guys like it? Yeah? yeah. We're walking past this roast pork stand and they sell something called Matsusaka pork. And they cut into these really thin little slices and it smelled fantastic. We had to stop and get some. It's so thin and nice. It's kind of like a cha shell. Well, that's nice. It's very charred, yeah. a little crispy. Yeah. Nice balance of fat and meat. Very nicely seasoned. That's good. You like it? Yeah. Oh, man. Again, it's called the Matsusaka pork. And as my friend Fawei said, nice texture going into your mouth. Makes your mouth happy. Yeah. Has a happy mouth. That's good. That's what you want. You want the food to make your mouth happy. If you guys are wandering around the night market and you see something like this, make sure you get it. This is a, uh, in Chinese it's called Fo Jiang Yu. And it's basically a donut with a salty egg in the inside. Check it out. It just oozes out when you open it up. It's burning hot, so you gotta be careful eating this. This is kind of like a Liu Sha Bao, you know, one of those uh, steamed buns with the egg yolk on the inside. But this is the fried version, the donutty version, the better version. Mm. That's not cheese, people. That's a salty egg yolk. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. It's basically a donut on the outside and salty, sweet, egg yolky stuff on the inside. Delicious golden yolky lava right there. And it's like raining right now, so it's kind of raining on my egg yolk. So I'm eating egg yolk and rainwater. This is my friend Wendy. She's taking me here. Uh, apparently she's gonna show me some good places, but she just told me she thinks everything is good, so I don't know. Now you guys see behind us, there's that massive temple. Now Wendy's told me there's a reason for that is because uh, back in the day when Taiwanese night market started, it all started around temples because people would go to temples and they would come out and they'd be hungry, they want things to eat. So then these vendors start setting up to kind of provide these guys food and that's basically how night markets kind of started. And if you go to night markets in Taiwan, a lot of them would be around big temples, right? So yesterday, after I left my hotel, um, I walked around, I was starving, and I saw this thing called Wu Jiao Bing. Wu Jiao Bing. And I, I, I got one, I didn't know what it was. So it kind of looks like this sesame bun, although it's kind of shaped like a manto. And I got one, I bit into it, it was very really unassuming, I bit into it, and then I was in pancake heaven. On the inside was onions and meats, and it was so juicy and delicious and so peppery. I didn't know that was like a really famous uh, night market item here at Yall Club. Yeah. When he took me to this place, it's supposed to be one of the most famous places to get Wu Jiao Bing in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. It's like four in the afternoon. The night market really hasn't started yet. And look at the line for this place. Wendy, I got one for you. Okay, thank you. And uh, <laughs> I got three for me. <laughs> so take a look. Uh, these look like regular buns with some sesame on top. If you smell it, 
Oh, it's delicious. It smells so good. Yes. They baked this fresh in what I could tell was makeshift iron uh, ovens. They shove it full of meats and scallions. I mean, full of scallions. They really put a lot of scallions into this. You know how I know it's good? I didn't even bite into the meat part yet, and it's already good. And the juice from the meat has already seeped into the bun. It's already delicious without even biting into the meat. Oh my god. Mm, yeah, it's so good. This has got to be one of my favorite night market items ever. So you bite into it, it's crunchy on the outside. It's moist on the inside, obviously, because the pork gives off so much juice. I can tell why they call it hu jiao bing, because you get a nice hit of uh, hu jiao flavoring in this, like nice peppery flavor into this. Another favorite of mine at this night market is yao dun pai gu, which translates to medicine stewed uh, ribs. These are pork ribs, and they're stewed in this medicine-y, herby soup thing for a long time. I don't even know exactly what's in this. All I know is that if you smell it, it smells very uh, Chinese medicine-y. If you taste it, it's a little sweet, and the ribs, mm. wow. Super tender, full of flavor. And I'll tell you what, with all the herbs they put in here, this is definitely good for you. I'm back at the Shilin Nai Market because I wanted to get more of those sausages I had the other night. This is what I'm here for, one of my favorite food items at this night market. If you guys come to Shilin Night Market, you gotta come see this Lanti, and you gotta try one of these sausages. And these big ones here, they are by far the best. I have not seen another night market where they serve something as good as this. I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days. This is by far the best sausage I've ever had in my life. Never had it so good in my life. If you're a fan of Chinese sausages, this is like 20 times tastier. It's better than any hot dog you ever have. It's better than any bratwurst, whatever. Forget all that. Come here and get this sausage. I'm not even kidding. Fly to Taiwan tomorrow and get this sausage. You, you're gonna thank me. And you gotta eat it with some raw garlic. Best night market food item. Ever. Here's something else you might see at night markets around Taiwan. It's called Da Chang Bao Xiao Chang, or big sausage wrapped around a smaller sausage. It's basically a Taiwanese hot dog. And what's kind of misleading is that white thing. Initially, I thought that was a sausage. It's not. It's like it's like a uh, it's a rice bun. So basically, this is a rice hot dog. And on the inside, there's some preserved vegetables, some cucumbers, and some sauce. This is. Yeah, this is it. This is a Taiwanese hot dog. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. This whole thing is sweet, smoky, garlicky, and delicious. So if you're a hot dog fan, definitely try one of these things out. I'll tell you this right now. A rice bun, much better than one of those typical buns that does nothing and then falls apart. This thing is fragrant. It has so unique flavor. It definitely adds a lot to the sausage. I mean, I wish like hot dogs in the U.S. would have like rice buns. Let's put this awesome sausage on top of another sausage with a piece of raw garlic. That's how we're gonna do it today. Sausage upon a sausage upon a rice bun shaped like a sausage with preserved vegetables and garlic inside. Yeah, you can't get any more Asian than that. After a nice meal, you want something good to drink? Stop by one of these booths. They sell natural sugar cane juice, cold, and it's delicious. I had to stop by the fried milk place again because I feel like my arteries are a little too healthy. I wanna clog them up a little bit. It's essentially a fried milk donut. And it's delicious. So bad, but so good. Those are some of my favorite food items at Taiwanese night markets. This video could be two hours because I could just keep on eating and eating and eating. And I would because everything is so delicious. This has definitely been such an awesome experience. I've been wanting to do this forever. I've been wanting to go to Taiwanese night markets for the longest time. I'm glad I met with a lot of local friends who were able to show me around to a lot of these places. Show me a lot of the food that they like. Can't just come to Taipei and yelp everything and expect to find the best food places. You really need to have locals show you around and I was lucky enough to have that. So thanks to all my friends who showed me around and took me to all your favorite food places. You guys were so awesome and thank you all so much for watching. I'll definitely be back soon. If you want to check out what other things I did in Taiwan, definitely check out my vlog channel. That info is in the description box. Thanks again guys.